Hello, plant lovers. Today, we're giving detailed tips on caring for the stunning Monstera adansoni, focusing on light and temperature, pot and soil, and watering. Light and temperature. Avoid sudden drafts or temperature drops, especially near windows and doors during winter. Monstera adansoni loves bright, indirect light. Direct sunlight can scorch its delicate leaves, leaving unsightly brown patches. If you have a south-facing window, make sure to diffuse the light with sheer curtains or place the plant a few feet away to avoid burns. During the darker months, consider supplementing with a grow light to keep it healthy. Temperature-wise, aim for 65 degrees Fahrenheit to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 18 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius. They don't like the cold, so avoid placing them near drafts, AC vents, or windows that might let in chilly air. Rapid temperature changes can stress the plant, leading to drooping or leaf loss. Pot and soil. Next, let's talk pot and soil. Now, let's talk pots and soil. Choose a pot with drainage holes to prevent water from pooling at the bottom. This is crucial because stagnant water can lead to root rot, which is one of the biggest threats to Monstera adansoni. Terracotta pots are a great option because they're breathable and allow excess moisture to evaporate. For soil, opt for a well-draining mix. A blend of regular potting soil, peat moss, and perlite works wonders. The peat moss helps retain moisture without waterlogging the roots, while perlite ensures good airflow, keeping the roots happy and healthy. Adding a bit of orchid bark can also improve drainage and mimic the plant's natural epiphytic environment. Watering Let's move on to watering. One of the most common mistakes is overwatering. Monstera adansoni prefers the soil to dry out slightly between waterings. To check, insert your finger about an inch deep. If it feels dry, it's time to water. Pour water slowly, making sure it evenly soaks the soil, and wait for it to drain out of the bottom. Empty the saucer after watering to avoid water accumulation, which can suffocate the roots. If you notice yellowing leaves, this could be a sign of overwatering. On the other hand, Wilting or curling leaves may indicate that your plant is too dry. Strike a balance by adjusting the frequency according to your home's humidity and temperature. In the winter, reduce the watering frequency as the plant's growth slows down. That's it, plant enthusiasts. With proper lighting, the right potting mix, and mindful watering, your Monstera adansoni will grow lush, green, and full of those iconic, beautiful holes. Don't forget to wipe the leaves occasionally to keep them dust-free. And if you're looking for faster growth, you can train the vines onto a support pole. Follow these tips, and you'll have a stunning, thriving plant that brings a tropical vibe to your space. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media for more plant care tips. Happy growing, and see you next time!